Hey, it's Kelly again. We're back, and as Chad said, it's a snowy day outside, um, so we couldn't make it to the gym. So we're um, proving our point that um, just not being in a gym doesn't have to keep you from meeting your goals. Um, so we're doing workouts from home today. Um, so today's workout and our um, our whiteboard on the go is five rounds of ten push-ups and ten hollow rocks. Um, so you're going to do 10 push-ups, 10 hollow rocks, and you're going to repeat that five times. So let's go over push-ups again. Um, this is from our very first workout. Um, but push-ups, we're going to start from the, on the floor with our hands right underneath our shoulders. And ideally, we want to be able to do them from our toes. But most importantly, we want to get our chest as close to the ground as possible. So here, right back up. If that's too difficult, just drop to your knees. Get the chest all the way down, and then push right back up. Key points here are gonna to be to keep that core nice and tight, squeeze your glutes, keep everything really turned on there. Um, and if that's too difficult, we can of course do it from the couch or from a chair. Um, so we're just gonna same position here, so keeping everything nice and tight, chest down, and push right back up. All right, so those are variations for the push-ups. The next movement is the hollow rock. This is a very core-centric activity and probably going to make those push-ups a little bit more challenging after we do it. But we're going to lie on the ground. We're going to point our toes. So think about being a dancer. Point your toes nice and straight. And then we're going to lie back with the arms straight overhead. All right, so from here, we want to think about pushing our back into the ground, so really engaging the core. And then we're just going to lift up just like this. All right, and then we're going to just start to rock. That's a hollow rock, okay? You're gonna do 10 of those. If that's too hard, then you're just gonna bring your feet up and your arms up and just hold. And if that's too difficult, then you can bring your feet up and your shoulders up higher off the ground. And just try to reach those hands towards your toes. All right? So those are variations of the hollow rock. And that's it. So, as always, send us your questions if you have them to Kelly, K E L L Y, at CrossFitLocal.com or Chad, C H A D, at CrossFitLocal.com, or you can sign up to receive these daily at CrossFitLocal.com. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.